County deputy is dead and two others are hurt after a violent shootout at a Eustace home. Right now, the department is still trying to figure out what happened. We tore the home apart uh, to get in there uh, so we could get that deputy out of there. Um, it was just a, uh, uh, it was a chaotic scene from the start until the end. And overnight, we learned two suspects inside that home were killed and another was taken to the hospital. This is a timeline of what happened. It all started around 8 o'clock last night in the Orlando Hills subdivision in Eustis along Brookside Drive near Highway 19. We have multiple crews that are covering this story this morning. West 2's Spencer Tracy is live at Waterman Hospital in Tavares. And Christina Watkins is live at the home where this shootout happened. Uh, Christina, a very sobering, tragic morning this morning for the department because the sheriff says it's been almost two decades since a Lake County deputy died on the job. Sheldon, the last time the sheriff's department experienced a tragedy like this was February 2005. Now, as for the deputy who was killed here last night, we know he got trapped inside of that home, which is just behind me. It is still very active this morning. We were able to get down to the scene where the mobile command center is still set up. We see Florida Highway Patrol and also many other deputies still here combing through this evidence here on Brookside Drive and what was described as a very violent and extremely chaotic scene from the start to the very end. Still very early in this investigation, but here's what we know. So the sheriff says they got the call around eight o'clock last night. Sheldon, as you mentioned, this is the Orlando Hills subdivision in Eustis. They said there was some kind of disturbance. Someone there told them to check out another home a few doors down. When they got to that home, they saw the back door kicked in. So they went inside and the sheriff said they were ambushed. One deputy got hit, another managed to get out. That's when the sheriff says multiple deputies formed a rescue team trying to get their fellow member out, and they were met with what's described as a hail of gunfire. SWAT team, of course, there. The sheriff says there was so much firepower against them, and sadly, it led to a heartbreaking end for law enforcement agencies, not just here in Lake County, but all across the state. That deputy sheriff, I won't mention his name right now, has been with us for quite a while, started out as a young explorer, as a military veteran, and uh, just horrific when you have one of your own inside of a home and you can't get to them. It absolutely is horrific. So as for the people inside of that home, the sheriff says two of them were dead by the time SWAT went inside. Another went to the hospital back out here live on the scene. It's still unclear exactly what was going on inside of this home before deputies got there. That's something the State Department of Law Enforcement is looking into, and they are expected to be out here for many hours throughout the morning. The sheriff did tell us they found multiple guns inside of this home, everything from long guns to handguns. This morning, though, there is no longer a threat to this community, and the sheriff says they are just sticking together to try to get through this difficult time. We're live in Eustis, Christina Watkins. Sheldon, I'll go ahead and send it back to you. Hey, Christina and two other deputies were also shot when responding to that call, and this morning they are getting treatment for their injuries. West Coast Spencer Tracy continues our live team coverage from Waterman Hospital in Tavares. Spencer. Sheldon, this is a heartbreaking morning for law enforcement in Central Florida as well as across the state. We are at Waterman Hospital where multiple Lake County Sheriff's Office have been here for hours. Now, we still are not sure exactly who was taken to the hospital. We are trying to figure out the Lake County Sheriff's Office says the first deputy who entered that home was shot and died from his injuries. The second deputy was shot in the armpit and the stomach and is in critical condition after having undergone surgery. Now, a third deputy was shot in the shoulder and is expected to be okay. In this time of tragedy, the sheriff's office says they are leaning on the community's support. Of this agency and law enforcement in general in your prayers, they have a tough job, um, and uh, we, we lost one tonight. The sheriff's office says two of the suspects in the home were killed in the shooting and the third suspect was taken to the hospital. Now, the sheriff's office has not released any of the names involved in this shooting, but they did say that they have notified the family of the deputy that was killed. Of course, this is still an ongoing and very active scene. 
We will continue. Of course, when we learn new details, we'll give them to you on air and online for now reporting live at the Waterman Hospital. I'm Spencer Tracy, West 2 News. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young expressed his condolences on social media overnight, saying our deepest condolences and prayers are with the fallen deputies, family and the Lake County Sheriff's Office during this extremely difficult time. He went on to say that he is praying for a full recovery for that deputy that got injured as well. Uh, we're standing by to get another update from the Lake County Sheriff's Office. We will bring you that information on air and online at WESH.com.